again, from an outside perspective, not knowing a lot of the details behind uh, that deal. I do know that um, when, when Gilbert looks at acquisition of property or land, such as parks or right-of-ways and easements and so forth, these things do not happen overnight. Um, they are many, many months and possibly years in looking at uh, acquisitions of large properties like this park. Uh, it is my understanding that uh, this particular property has been looked at for acquisition for a future park and has been deal and it's been working with that land owner for for some time for whatever the reason back in 2009 someone decided that that piece of property at that moment was a must have and in my perspective that piece of property was not a must have especially when you think about what happened in 2008 where all of the financial institutions were beginning to tank. You have AIG, Wachovia Bank, Lehman Brothers, land prices were dropping. Me as a property owner or wanting to buy property, we're looking at the trends and we're seeing that the prices of land is, uh, is dropping. Why is there a need for me to pay for a higher price? Let's just wait till it bottoms out. Somebody, decided that, that was not the right business decision to do. So that was an error, in my opinion. And at, th at that time, there was not an official appraisal done. And by having no official appraisal of that property at that time, and buying the property for that price was wrong. And I don't know what process got broken back then, but obviously a process got broken and, you know, and from the, uh, the town manager, to the council members that were all in agreement of this. It was a, 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 a true error, uh, a true bad decision from my perspective as a business decision with that. As it relates to um, um, a process to fix this, I know now that um, the, that won't happen again. I know that within the structure today, the town has built in fail-safe processes so that that can't happen again. And um, the, uh, the city attorney is, you know, obviously he's, he's got those processes in place. You know, the council's got that in place. Um, the, 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 you know, the new city manager's got that in place. So I, I believe that that can occur again. At least it shouldn't happen again because I feel like those processes are in place. So they will follow that, those processes in, to uh, avoid, you know, making those bad decisions again. As to um, uh, how does the town recover from the, the negative press, um, that's going to take time because I know the community is, um, you know, outraged when um, we have leaders that we trust that um, are not good stewards of our money. And I'm one of them because I feel like I trust you as a leader to be good with my tax money and do the right things for Gilbert families and for Gilbert businesses. That action to me was not good because I think about uh, the proposed sales tax on Proposition 406 that came up was to raise about $5.5 .5 million of additional revenue where that deal was you know, several times larger. Um, then the quarter percent sales tax that they wanted to increase. I'm thinking how many years of less sales tax could we have been in, you know, uh, using, you know, due to that large acquisition. You know, the other thing that uh, gets to me about this is that, you know, our outstanding debt in town, um, literally in 2008, was at about $384 million. I mean, that came out to about $1,800 per capita, you know, of the residents at that time. In 2009, the outstanding debt goes from $384 million to like $613 million. And the per capita goes from $1,800 per person to now $2,800 per person. My family of seven, 
That's almost $20,000 of additional debt that I'm responsible for that is almost like adding to my mortgage. And that has to stop. So the, 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 the reining in of spending has to happen as we move forward. And I, and I am very aware that I feel that I could be a part of that process to you know, really stop the spending and really look at the must-haves in our town versus the nice-to-haves. That has to be the bottom line.